Okay, Jeremy, this is how we uh, use the table press. So if we go to your pages here, go to all pages, and we go to the, uh, the press page, uh, I believe it's draft still, yeah. Okay, so we'll go in here. You'll see that there's only a short code in there, since it pops up, table ID 1. So that's a short code for your stuff there. So if you go over here to table press, you click on all tables, you see this ID number one, that's the uh, table press. So if you want to add anything below the uh, table, you can see, you can stretch these things out here. This is your first uh, position, your second position, and your third position. And how you add stuff in there is you click in the box. Okay, now this is what would be directly below the first picture. And this is what's directly below the second picture. So let's say that we wanted to insert uh, an image. Well, what we do, we click insert image. This little box will pop up, and then you'll click inside that. And then you'll go ahead and find your image that you want to insert in there. Okay? And then you could change the link to any other page. You know, have it linked to a different portion of your page. You know, select the size or whatnot. But what you asked me about is you want to insert links below here. And that's just as easy, too. You just uh, click Insert Link, and that little box will come up. So click the cell, and then just enter your URL, and then the text. Or you can link it to uh, you know a different portion of your website here, these posts or whatever. It would be uh, pretty easy to add. Just click Add Link, and, and there you go. So, And that's how you add the links right directly below the pictures in your uh, in your pr uh, press page so um, if you need a more detailed tutorial let me know you know if you want to learn about what the all these other functions are if you want to add a new table you would just click add new table and we'll just go ahead and leave the page because I figured you'll do and this we can call it a new table and give it a description uh, now here's where you put the number of rows and the number of columns. Now the rows go uh, left, you know, from left to right, and then the columns go vertical, up and down. So if we wanted five rows and, well, let's say four rows and four columns, uh, then we would click Add Table, and we would see down here, after it creates the table, that here we have one, two, three, four rows, or four columns, one, two, three, four rows. So that's how that works. Now one of the things you want to keep in mind if you do add new tables is uh, what it'll, it'll ask you if you want to highlight the first one. I always uncheck these because I'm mainly looking for structure. I'm not looking for uh, you know uh, fancy functions or whatever in there usually. So that's how you do that and then uh, once again you know if you wanted to insert a link you would click this, insert an image, click this uh, and, or an advanced editor which you probably won't use and then uh, you could combine cells here too. But if you wanted to let me get more detailed on how to use this, just let me know. Um, I hope this tutorial has been efficient for you to be able to start manipulating your tables though and adding your links. Thanks. Bye.